And what I found is that, by and large, um, certain kinds of people feel more duty, and others don't. And culturally, within cultures, there are cultures that may be inadvertently or subconsciously as a culture or intentionally as a culture expect certain things of you. And then, like if I'm talking about blackness right now, could black people expect things from a public figure or a wealthy individual or a, 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 uh, that is, let's say, unreasonable to expect? Then we could open that up to say, does the, does the um, artistic world expect something of the black artist that maybe they don't expect of white artists. So when I think about people like Jason Rhodes, uh, Matthew Barney, you know, uh, 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 the bad boys, uh, is there something about being a bad boy that is condoned for white men that would kind of utterly not be tolerated. And these are, these are maybe questions that I ask myself, but maybe they're more like the questions that are out there. Who drives change in a city? And we could say comfortably that developers drive change. And that there might be a relationship between um, a city's leadership and its desire to see more economic growth, more density, more taxes, and, and a kind of complicit relationship between those that can ensure that new buildings are built and Dallas wanting to secure itself a stable future uh, in the country and want more and more people to make this a destination. The question always, and this has been a question since the founding of our country, is when we're done with those people who built the thing, what are we going to do with them? And there's a, there's a refusal to talk seriously about what's been taken. There's only a willingness to talk about um, what the future needs. And so sometimes we carry sight in different ways. Now. The way artists talk about sight and artist scholars talk about sight is different from the way preservationists talk about sight because for a preservationist, it's about the land, right? But I think that for some of us, sight is about the story. It's about the photograph. And the challenge we had in New Orleans was that in some cases, when the water wiped things away, all we have is our memory of the place. You know, and if you, couldn't, if, you, if you couldn't prove that you lived in a place because you didn't have a deed, then all of a sudden, sight is a conceptual sight. It's a conceptual space. You need another kind of argument, another kind of lawyer, a, another kind of girding up. I want sculpture to do more. I want art to do more. I want people to do more. Do more. I just want us to do more. It's just not about winning an award. It can't be about that. It, it could be that the award then pivots people's attention. And then you got to decide, well, what you going to do with their attention? That's sustainability. Sustainability is at the moment that the light hits you, Will you be ready to articulate those things you were doing in darkness? And were you doing that you might do more in the light? And if blackness is about the absence of light, Lord Jesus, I hope we're prepared when the light shines. Thank y'all.